What's up guys? It's Pat, Maury, and Dave from the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Back at you with another beer review. Uh, today we got a new release. Maury, what do we got here? This is White Monkey from Victory Brewing Company out of Downingtown, Pennsylvania. Um, this is their Golden Monkey, which is their triple aged in white wine barrels. It's 9.4% alcohol, and uh, I've really been looking forward to this one. Yeah, I have too. Uh, this is the third release out of their barrel program. Yeah. Um, you know, we had Red Thunder, uh, the Oak oh, Horizontal, and now the uh, their triple here. Right. So. And they had done, you know, Dark Intrigue before and a couple other barrel experiments. But these three real close together over the past several months. And I think the other two were awesome. And so we're going to find out about this one. Yeah. Well, it smells like a Belgian triple. It is spicy, bready. Yeah. But there I is a pretty decent grape smell going on. Yeah, so like yeah. from the wine it's barrels. Venus notes, yeah. yeah. And no doubt that's white grapes. You know, I don't yeah. get any of that, uh, you know, dry, red. No. You know, nothing at it all. It smells like sweet like a Belgian does, and then it right. kind of just has a subtle wine character. Yeah, like a Chardonnay aroma. type yeah. of character. It, it kind of smells like Golden Monkey with grape juice. Yeah, it does. It, it smells yeah. very grapey. I'll give you that. Like the white grape is yeah. definitely in there. Mm. Very nice. A touch of, just like a touch of like an oaky yeah. smell in there. It's actually a pretty refreshing smell. Very yeah. refreshing yeah. smell. It reminds me, and I, I haven't had a Golden Monkey in a while, but it, like I feel like Golden Monkey came flashing back to me when I smelled this yeah. beer. So. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. That's very refreshing. It is. I feel like this is really almost like a lighter weight. Than Golden, Golden Monkey, Monkey. yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, so Golden Monkey was real. Is I thought it was, the last time I remember it, you know, disclaimer, I haven't drank it in a long time, but from what I remember, it seemed to me it was a little more bready and spicy. Mm -hmm. The aroma leads you to believe that the, it would taste that way, but I really get like a, well, especially on the back end, I get a big, strong Chardonnay flavor. Out yeah. of this one, yeah. like the, it has a dry wine finish. It's like yeah, nice and sweet and Belgiany up front, with those typical fruity, you know, a little bit. This is brewed with coriander seed too. Uh, Golden Monkey is so I can get that in there a little bit, um, but then on the end is where I'm getting the wine a little bit. Yeah. It kind of dries out at the it end. It does, yeah, and uh, it at the front to middle part is kind of sweet. Mm -hmm. Like that sweet Belgian, yeah. almost a grape flavor in there. And then, yeah, the end is just, bam, like a glass of like white wine. I think it's interesting that the, the kind of like tanginess at the end of Golden Monkey has been completely wiped out and replaced by the By the barrels, yeah. yeah it's, that's really, it's... Actually, you know, I'll say I like a good Belgian. I sometimes feel it can be a little spicy for me, but this is... Yeah, really good. I think the barrel aging on this, especially in those wine barrels, really did it some favors. All right, so for a score for me, I'm going to go with a 4.25 on this one. I feel it's way above average. I don't feel it's in the elite category, which I consider like 4 or 5 and above, but it is like right there for me. And, you know, regular Golden Monkey, I think, would fall a little below that. So, yeah, 4.25 I'm going to go on this one. I'm also going to go 4.25. That's a score I had in my mind. It's really, really good. I don't know that it's elite, like you said, or world class, but it's definitely really good. It's an improvement upon Golden Monkey. I love the white wine flavor blended with the triple. And, you know, don't expect... I feel like with some of these wine barrel beers from Victory, like Red Thunder and this, people are expecting sours. These are not sour beers. They are... Just what they are, aged in wine barrels. No Brett, no nothing. Really refreshing beer. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and agree with these guys. I also give this a four and a quarter out of five. It's, it's a really great beer. It's, uh, you get this, uh, there's a little bit of booziness on the back end, which I think really is just a side effect of the wine barrels, and it really kind of fits with the flavor. Mm -hmm. um, the metamorphosis that this beer went through in the barrel was a good one, mm -hmm. and uh, I look forward to seeing what else I come out with. Great. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.
Yeah, aged in white wine yeah. barrels. It's the gold monkey, but it's aged in white wine barrels. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> they've, they've been doing a trend. Yeah, <laughs> just a sip of my mouth. <laughs>